everyone and welcome to Inside the Beaker. My name is Christine Vu and I work here at PCCA in the R&D department. We wanted to introduce a new segment to Inside the Beaker and we're calling it Three in Three. Three things you need to know in three minutes. Today I have Deborah Clark, one of our clinical pharmacists from our clinical services department helping me out. Today's theme, VET. So here we go. Three minutes on the clock, please. Okay, let's talk fixed oil suspension formulation for vets. One of our top vet questions we receive is regarding fixed oil suspension formulations, when to use it and how to adjust. Our clinical pharmacist says it is very important to first look at the species. Carnivores are usually okay with a fixed oil suspension unless there is some type of allergy or underlying condition that contraindicates this. In some species, like chinchillas for example, oils are toxic so we don't want to give them the fixed oil suspension. In horses, birds, and certain pocket pets, we do not use fixed oil either because it is not normally a part of their diet. Therefore, it's not for all animals. To learn more about your specific species that you're trying to help, please call one of our clinical pharmacists to discuss more. Hi everyone, my name is Deborah Clark. I am one of the clinical compounding pharmacists in PCCA's clinical services division. Um, I just want to talk to you real quickly today about Zocil. We use it in all different species. It's safe, non-toxic for all species. Um, one of the most common formulas that we use or formula types is for atopic dermatitis. Atopic dermatitis occurs a lot in dogs and cats, and it's probably one of the number one reasons why they go in to see their veterinarian. This gives a, a topical treatment option for that particular disease. I know they have several oral options, but sometimes it takes a little bit of time for those to work. And so we can come in as a partner to the veterinarian to help treat that particular condition with Zocil as the base. Um, you can also put things in there like antibiotics if the veterinarian feels there's a need for it. In wound care, you can add pain medications in there. I mean, the, the, basically the vet can choose which one they want in there. Um, sometimes I'll use lidocaine, sometimes I'll use diphenhydramine. Diphenhydramine has a threefold purpose. Antihistamine, it has a pain mechanism. It also deters the animal from licking. Are you making the Themisol formulas? What device are you using to dispense it? If you aren't already using the Toppy Click Micro, we would suggest you look into it. Why? There are features on this device that would help with patient use as well as pharmacy dispensing. It has a 9.75 ml capacity to provide up to 9.5 ml of prescription. It dispenses a small amount of formula, just 0.05 ml in each click. So it's a great option for your vet patients. It can be filled using a back-filled syringe, either using a lure lock or um, an adapter with the oral syringe, or we even have an EMP jar adapter where you can use an EMP. And you just take the, uh, this silicone tip, you match the flanges up, you press on the counter until you hear a click, and then you close it with a screw-on cap. And don't forget, on the Toppy Click Micro, prime it before you give it to your patients. And there you have it. As always, if you want more information on anything in this video, please give the Clinical Services Department a call regarding your specific vet question. Don't forget, our vet symposium is at the end of March where you can meet Deborah, Mark, and Chris, our local vet specialists. So sign up today. That's all for now. Thanks for watching Inside the Beaker.